Hello and welcome to the Lansing eBranding Masterclass Certification Module 1 Lansing Certification. What is in it for you? We will start our journey with what Lansing Certification is all about. Then we focus on the target group for Lansing Certification, followed by a detailed look into the process including certification standards, sample requirements, lead times, validities, and use case examples. Finally, we will show you how you can apply step-by-step -step for a Lansing certification. A short recap will summarize the most important learnings. And last but not least, we will have a look at more tutorials to explore. Lensing Certification in a Nutshell What is Lensing Certification? Lensing Certification is part of Lensing's branding process and ensures the evidence of Lensing fibers within a fabric. Lensing's fiber identification technology plays a vital role in the certification process and is building the basis for brand licensing solutions and complementary services such as hang tags and media assets. The 12-digit Lensing certification number being provided with the certification confirmation letter is the key to unlock opportunities to promote your products by using Lensing trademarks and fiber claims in your promotional materials. Lensing brands may only be used on products based on Lensing certified materials. Who in the textile supply chain can apply for Lensing certification? It is the fabric mills who apply for Lensing certification at Lensing eBranding Service Portal. Once the online application form is completed and sent to Lensing, fabric makers are asked in parallel to send fabric samples to one of our labs for testing. More details on this topic to follow later in this video. Once the application, including fabric testing, is finalized and approved, the applicants will receive a so-called Lensing certification letter, which shows the 12-digit Lensing certification number. In the next step, the related mills can then use this number and apply in a separate step for a license themselves. Or they can share the certification number with their supply chain partners so that they can apply for a product license to use Lensing brands and claims for their final products. Now let's have a closer look at the Lensing certification process and focus on the certification standards, sample requirements, lead times and validity periods. We will also explore specific use cases. To qualify for Lensing certification, the fabric must fulfill following requirements. Regarding fiber content, the fabric must not contain fibers of regenerated cellulose made by fiber producers other than Lensing. Furthermore, there are several blending rules in place which are listed for your reference. Now let's focus on the minimum fiber percentage of Lensing origin fibers. In general, fabrics should contain at least 30% of Lensing origin fibers unless otherwise specified. For exceptions, please have a closer look at this section. To reach the total share of 30% various lensing origin fibers of generic fiber group can be blended. 
However, and this is very important, only the basic branded offers and marketing options are offered for such fabrics. Here an example. If the fabric contains a blend of 20% lensing viscous EV fibers, so lensing Ecovero, with Refibra technology, and 10% lensing viscous Ecovero fibers, then the lensing certification overall standard rule of minimum 30% is fulfilled and you will get the basic brand licensing offer to promote Ecovero. However, you will not be allowed to promote the Refibra technology as the Refibra fiber content is not reaching 30%. In this overview, we have listed more examples of what is allowed and not allowed in the certification process. Regarding trademark on samples, we kindly ask you not to send samples of, for certification that already have our trademarks on the fabric. We will reject those samples for testing and request for new samples without logo to be sent in again. We also require various information and documentation in the certification application process. We will come to this point more in detail later in this video. Our next topic is sampling requirements. As you can see in this overview, we ask for one square meter per fabric with the face side marked. Only one sample will be tested, no matter if there are different colors or printed patterns. You will find further sampling requirements in the highlighted section, for example, for indigo dyed denim, mattress ticking, knit sweaters, socks, towels, hand knitting yarn, filling and rugs. The full list of certification criteria, sampling requirements and testing methods are available within our Lensing Certification Standards document at our eBranding Service portal. Please make sure to always consider the latest online version. What about lead time and validity period related to lensing certification. The lead time for lensing certification is 14 working days after receipt of the physical fabric sample and based on a fully and correctly completed online application form. A lensing certification is valid for two years. In very specific cases, such as fulfilled products within the home and interior segment, it can go up to five years. Let us now explore some lensing certification use cases. First question. I have one fabric in five different colors or print designs. Do I need to send them all to lensing for testing? The answer is no. We issue only one certificate to a fabric that is produced in different colors or print patterns if the following fabric parameters are the same. Same product composition, same yarn specification, same yarn source, same construction, finishing and fabric weight. If one of these parameters is changing, then you have to apply for certification with a new application form and send a new fabric sample. Second question. Our single jersey and interlock fabrics are made from the same yarn and they are in the same color. Do I need to send them both? The answer is yes. If the fabric construction is different, for example, one single jersey fabric, one interlock fabric, then you have to fill in two application forms and send both samples. Third question. I received a certificate for my fabric and produced it for six months. 
Now I changed my yarn source and buy the yarn from a different spinner. Do I need to apply for fabric certification and send a new fabric? The answer is yes. As one important parameter, that is yarn source, changed. Final question. My application form was dismissed. Do I need to resend the fabric? Here the answer is no. Let us now apply step by step for Lensing certification. After logging into your account at eBranding service, you start within the tab New Application by selecting either Apparel or Home and Interiors, depending on your main business area. In the next step, you select Lensing certification and click on the green button to continue. The next page is a summarized checklist what you should have prepared in advance before starting a certification application. It also contains further helpful documents. Which information is needed during the online application for Lensing certification? As you can see in this table, there are three areas of interest. First, description related criteria such as fabric construction, fabric type, finishing state, weight, composition, yarn type, yarn count, yarn composition. Second, traceability related information such as yarn invoices, name of spinner, delivery notes and sales order number, testing documents, and finally, performance-related information like potential end-use and care label instructions. The very first information we are asking in the application is the article name. That is the unique reference of the fabric which identifies the fabric clearly. Please Avoid company names, brand names and descriptions of the article like single jersey, lyocell or cotton. The article name cannot be changed later in the application process and will be printed on the Lensing certification letter. Optionally, you can also provide a product name, for example, a reference of your customers, if applicable. Product definition is the next section. It contains information about the finishing state of the fabric and, if applicable, potential end uses, product family, knit type, product type and also the target group of the end product. The next page is about the fabric's total composition. Please select relevant lensing fibers and fill in the composition percentage. If applicable, select blending fibers and fill in the composition percentage. Select others only for cases where there is a special blending partner involved, for example, Lensing Lyocell filament branded under Tencel Lux. In case you are using lensing fibers with climate actions, you have to add the relevant IDs, that is delivery note and sales order number. Please ask your supplier for these identification numbers. In the next step, please specify fabric weight and fabric width. Fabric origin comes next. If your company does not produce the fabric, please select We are sourcing the fabric from a manufacturer to be specified below and then click Add a new address. If you have already added the supplier in your address book before, then you can select the pre-added supplier out of this list, fill in the supplier product name and or certification number 
of the Grange product. If the fabric is made by you yourself, please select the product is manufactured by the registered account below. Now you have to specify the yarn or the yarns. It is required to provide yarn information for each yarn. For example, if the fabric is made with three yarns, the form will have three individual yarn information sections. For yarns containing lensing fibers, click Add New Address to fill in the spinner details. In case you have already added the spinner in your address book, then you can select the pre-added spinner out of the provided list. The next process step refers to care label instructions. Please complete all relevant fields. Do not select industrial laundry for garment processes. We ask for care instruction for final garment. Finally, we are in the Upload of Documents area. To speed up the process, please upload documents proving the yarn supply chain, for example, yarn invoice, yarn delivery note. In case you are using Lensing FR fibers, please upload testing documents proving the performance of your product and confirm the related terms. In a very last step before submitting the form to Lensing, you will reach the application summary. Please check all summarized information carefully and if everything is correct, finally click on Submit to Lensing. Upon submission, you will receive a copy of your application by email. You can also download a PDF copy from the thank you page. A product sample is necessary to complete the Lensing certification application. You can download the sample accompanying document shown here at the right hand side containing all further details. Once the fabric sample arrives in one of our labs and all information provided in the application is complete and correct, the Lensing Certification team will start to work on your application. As mentioned, you will in parallel receive an email to your inbox. Please also check your spam folder. You can also check your data in the overview of your certificates via the Submitted Applications tab. A certification confirmation letter will be sent to the email address specified in your registration within approximately 14 working days after receipt of your sample. It will contain the 12-digit Lensing certification number, which is the key to unlock opportunities to promote fabrics as well as final products by using Lensing trademarks and fiber claims in customers' promotional materials. If you need support, please feel free to contact our eBranding help desk team, either by clicking the Need Help button within our eBranding service platform or mailing them at ebranding.helpdesk at lensing.com. You may also want to have a look at our comprehensive FAQ section within the eBranding service that is accessible for our logged in users. Time to summarize. Lensing certification is part of Lensing's branding process and ensures the evidence of Lensing fibers within a fabric. Lensing's fiber identification technology plays a vital role in the certification process and is building the basis for brand licensing solutions and complementary services such as hang tags and media assets. The 12-digit Lensing certification number 
is the key to unlock opportunities to promote fabrics as well as final products by using lensing trademarks and fiber claims in customers' promotional materials. Lensing brands may only be used on products based on lensing certified materials and having a valid product license in place. To qualify for lensing certification, the fabric must be in accordance with the lensing certification standards. For fabric traders and other companies not actively producing the fabric, we offer the sub-certification option within eBranding service. For more details, kindly listen into our educational video sub-certification. Just ask for help in case of interest. Congratulations! You now successfully finished the certification module CM1, Lensing Certification. Curious to learn more? Find out more about eBranding service and our offers at eBranding Masterclass. Next to various self-study tutorials available in different languages, you can also register for our live sessions or request one for you and your team. Feel free to contact us at ebrandingmasterclass at lensing.com and we will be happy to recommend suitable ebranding masterclass tutorials for you. Thank you and stay tuned.